look man, Tottenham, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a process, and I think two things. They came across what is a better team. Bayern Munich are a better team. But also they came across a better team trying to prove a point. When you take two L's in a row and you're Bayern Munich and you're playing at the crib, you have to go out and prove a point. And I think what Bayern Munich showed is what I've always been saying is the issue was never Hansi Flick. Hansi Flick was never the issue. It wasn't bad management or bad coaching or bad organization. Is that the players just were not getting it done on, on, on the pitch. And I think what she now saw was... This team is very well coached. This team plays really, really well. And I think Hansi Flick has um, hit a pulse as to how this team can really move the ball around. And I think you just saw it by their performance to today. I think for Tottenham, remember they're resting guys, you know, they're resting two, they were resting two, oh, they're resting three key guys because Son came on second half of the second half. So um, Kane was rested, Dele Alli was rested. And these are two key players for what Mourinho wants to, to do. And Mourinho still wants to buy players. But still within that, they still managed to, to get a G. They should have scored another two. I think later on in the game, when Son was, was um, 1v1, he should have scored that. And even after that, when Sessonia put the ball in for Ericsson, he should have scored that. But overall, Bayern were just the better team. And I think you're going to go to feel bad for Kingsley Coman, man. Because again, I am not the biggest Kingsley Coman fan. But I've seen that the guy has definitely been improving. Got a goal there. He's holding down a place. He's had like a, a good run. And he gets injured again. And you can see how annoying it is because I think I remember him saying something to the effect of that if he gets another major injury, that's it. Like, I don't, he, he's, he says he'll not be able to mentally recover from another long-term injury because he's, he's had to deal with this so much. So hopefully, it doesn't affect him too much. Um, but I think, look, man, as I said again, Barney Nick, man, the quality is there. The quality of the place is there. And look at what they were able to do, the chance they were able to create without a Lewandowski. Um, look, Remember the Gennaro's shot in the first half, which which, which struck the, the the bar where you know, Thiago could have scored it, but it was too much of a, a rebound. So I just think overall, man, look, man, you have to really give credit to how they played and how they responded. Losing to Mönchengladbach, losing to Leverkusen, seventh in the Bundesliga, and which is why I said in my preview, this was always an important game for Bayern because they did it not only to win it, but have a huge performance because this will now give them the confidence going into. Um, the next game in the Bundesliga, I think they have a winter break now. But going into the next game in the Bundesliga, to really say, you know what's up, let's ride. Um, but yeah, man, look, I said the quality could continue. It's, it's what it does. And I've always, I've always said, Muller shouldn't be sniffing on that pitch. I don't care whether he scored, Muller should not be in the first team for Bayern. He's just there because he's German and he's, and he's, and he's pretty much using extortion attempts to a handy flick. Coutinho is the key for Bayern. If Bayern want to do anything in Europe this season, it will come through what Coutinho does as the midfielder and as a playmaker. And I think what I think what they um, they need to do is the combination. Jerome Boat said, "I don't remember that." The combination of Coutinho and Thiago. If these guys can combine well and really form an understanding, similar to what Zidane wants to do with Hazard and Isco, I think that could be the key to really making Bayern a four-dimensional, well, a three-dimensional team rather than a two-dimensional team reliant on Lewandowski. But I think for, for, for Tottenham, it's cool. They competed. They weren't completely and totally outplayed. They weren't really embarrassed. They didn't have two of the important players. And he was able to bring in some new guys like Skip in it. And I think that's, that's a key thing. Well, Mourinho will be happy. Yeah, he lost the game. But Sessi knew a guy who hasn't played to come on and to get a G like that should have gotten an assist as well if Ericsson put that ball away. It shows that, okay, no, there's some quality in, the, in, in this squad. So I think for Tottenham, it's a good confidence builder to what Mourinho is doing going into the next game in the, in the Premier League, which I believe is against Wolves, for them to ride through, man. So guys, remember to like that vid, man. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel for daily for football vids. Remember to check out the links below in the description box and check out the official website. I'm out. Peace.